The basic basics of Magic of Voxel in 2 minutes. When you open Magic of Voxel for the first time, you will see the default cube. Just click clear from the top right corner to delete it. To move the screen around, click and drag with the mouse wheel. To rotate the screen, use the right mouse button. You can also rotate using the view cube at the bottom right corner. You can view your mesh in perspective, free, orthographic, or isometric. To make the process easier, you can enable grids, frames, and edges from the bottom left corner. You can also enable the SW option, which is basically shadows. You can turn on mirroring by pressing X, Y, or Z on the left side here, or you can press F5, F6, or F7 for X, Y, or Z axis, respectively. Magic of Voxel has three main modes and six sub-modes. The three main modes are Attach, Erase, and Paint. The six sub-modes are Pattern, Shader, Geometry, Voxel, Face, and Box Mode. To start placing voxels, press T on your keyboard to enter attach mode, then switch between voxel, box, or face mode by using V, B, and F on your keyboard. To delete or erase voxels, just hold shift while dragging in any mode. As you can see here, I am erasing entire faces, single voxels, or boxes. To enter paint mode or color mode, press G on your keyboard. The same submodes apply here. You press V, B, or F for voxel, box, or face paint. To select a part of your mesh, press M on your keyboard to enter selection or marquee mode. To move the selected part, you can hold Ctrl key while dragging on any of the axes. On the right side of the screen, you will see the edit panel, which is very, very handy. From this panel, you can rotate, flip, move, scale, repeat, or symmetrize the shape in one of the axes or all of them at the same time. You can enter render mode to see how the rendered mesh will look like by pressing F1 on your keyboard. And if you have a potato PC like mine, no problem, you can lower the resolution from the top right corner to render faster and lower the pressure on your GPU. Magic of Voxel is able to export on multiple formats, but we mostly use OBJ as it's the most recognizable format by all the other software. Whenever you save a file, it will appear in the project panel on the right side. This helps you to quickly switch between projects. These were all the basic basics that you will need to get started with Magic of Voxel. Please like the video and I'll see you in the next one.